friends, I got a something of a weird one for you. So, whoop, I'm very good at YouTube. So, Jackson's Art Supply is a is a art it's they sell art supplies essentially jackson's art supply but they sell it from the uk and i don't usually shop there because international shipping and if i'm going to buy stuff i'd rather buy where i can get like from blick where i can just go there or order online and get free shipping after a certain minimum order but jackson's minimum is like 25 dollars international shipping so i don't ordinarily shop there but for some reason i'm on their email list and they had this weird product that i thought was weird um it's this from the ashes kit it's a, what they claim is that it's a it's a kit where all of the products are made using the ash and charcoal from the illegally bulldozed amazon rainforest normal artists when they see something that's limited edition at least this is what i hear they don't really buy limited edition stuff that often because if they like the product and then there's no more of it then they're sad <laughs> and i get that but me i see a weird limited edition thing and my tiny goblin brain goes shiny shiny and that's for pretty much what happened here so i bought it even though it was kind of pricey for me because shiny limited edition thing and then there was a flaw a vlog a couple days later or they put out an email newsletter something along that line and they were like we only made a hundred of these kits and i was like what and i already ordered it and then it was sold out and i don't know why this keeps happening but some art god keeps smiling upon me and letting me have the weird limited edition tat for just randomly i did not go out to buy this it just kind of popped on my screen one day so anyway we're going to have a little bit of an unboxing the, the box i already opened the cardboard box because it was filled with packing material and i didn't want to spend a bit of this video going through that but the box was covered in this red paper it has this little seal they have a bunch of stuff made by a bunch of different companies they have acrylic oil paints a couple of inks um some soft pastel most of which i don't use a lot mostly i just wanted the oil paint but i couldn't buy just the oil paint so we're going to take a look at some of this stuff and hopefully i you can actually see the the thing from my stand over there let's see if we can fix that no that doesn't help okay okay this this is happening here this okay i am good at youtube let's open this box and hope we don't bonk the camera oh, there we go and it's in this red box and i have not opened anything why do i come on we can fix this we can fix this oh for fuck's sake <laughs> i am figuring this out I am figuring things out. Okay. No, that's still in the camera. Why is it still in the camera? What is happening there? Okay, whatever. We're doing this. So it came with this thing about from the ashes. It's like all this thing about... Uh, I don't know what Migrate is. I've never heard of them before this. But apparently they're a big company that does things with, uh, with the people of the Amazon rainforest. And yeah, you can pause and read that if you want, but I am not going through this. But it's like the proceeds from the Ashes Artist Kits, even though supposedly we just have a hundred of them, will go to fundraising the Zingu community, which is, I'm probably mispronouncing that, but yeah. And it has all their things, and the back side has some more information. And, oh! Yeah, and there's a little, little thingy. Okay, cool. And yeah, disclaimer, all that. Yeah, in partnership with all the people. Yeah, okay. Moving on, and inside is this big red box. What they actually said, it, this is it. This is all of it. We're going to take that out and move that aside and chuckle. What they said and what I think this is, that there's a literal jar of ashes from the Amazon rainforest, as well as some charcoal that's just burnt tree. Not drawing charcoal, just regular charcoal. I'm going to keep trying to fix this. And see if we can actually. Oh, okay. This, this, it doesn't. I don't know what. What? Because normally in my videos, this thing is not visible, but today it doesn't want to. And I'm gonna see if I can fix this without dropping the camera, which is just my phone. No, this isn't working. Okay, okay. This is a fantastic video. Yeah. Okay. Let's move on. 
This is probably a jar of ashes, this is probably charcoal, and this is probably has all the actual art supplies. We're going to ignore that this is happening here, and we are just going to move the heck on. And we're going to test it with some... We're going to open this and see if it's like the actual burnt remains of a tree from the Amazon rainforest. And yes, it is. This is just the burnt remains of trees from Amazon rainforest. And I have that, and I do not know what I'm going to do with this in my life. But I have that now, and we're going to put that over there. And this is probably the ashes, again, from an Amazon rainforest tree. Which, again, I don't know what to do with. But that's what we're going to... That's what we're, nice packing material, though. So there's that. We are going to... Whoop, no, this is, yep, here's the jar of ashes. Ash from the burnt Amazon rainforest with lots of thumbs, I guess. So, yeah, I have that in my life now. Don't know what I'm going to do with that. And this is liquid ink from the ashes. I do not really do things with ink, but my sister expressed interest in this, so I'm going to give that to her. Packing material. This is already a very long video. Uh, scissors! We're going to use this scissors, because that one's not for paper. Move that aside. I have different scissors for different things. Don't mind that. What's in here? Oh, here's the stuff I'm looking for, and more packing peanuts. We got a very sizable tube of acrylic paint. The, the pigment is ash. The pigment is ash. Excellent light fastness. From the ashes contains the Jackson's art supply. Oil color. I don't, I've never actually tried Jackson's oil paint before, but I did buy some when I bought this because I figured if I'm buying something international, I might as well buy a whole lot of other stuff. But this, this is what we're going to actually look at in a few minutes after we do all this random unboxing. But a combination of the fire smarter, but yeah, that's just from the ashes. They have a little swatch. It's black because it's made out of the freaking charcoal ash yeah and then this is another kind of ink this is relief ink i believe this is for stamping someone correct me i don't really it's a very small tube and like it yeah, sample okay and has has a sticker on it for reasons i don't know what i'm gonna do with that either tracking material the acrylic I might play with, the acrylic I might just use as washes. I just wanted the oil paint, man. We have another box here. What's in here? There's something in here. Struggling. Oh, this is a soft pastel. They come in individual boxes. They made in England. One of them's light gray, one of them's dark gray. Un Unison color. I might actually use these. I haven't decided yet, but I'm going to keep these in the box for now because this is this is kind of cool. You got to admit, if it's actually made from ashes of the Amazon rainforest, that is kind of cool. Going to move that aside. Going to Okay, now we can actually get to the proper video. We got some white. We got a thing here. We got a horrible glare from the sunlight outside, but that's okay. And let's see if we can adjust my freaking camera again. There we go. Why is this happening? <laughs> Why is this thing in the way of my camera? Do I have to do this? We are fi <laughs> This doesn't happen in my other videos. So I don't know why this thing doesn't want to... We Okay, whatever. We're doing this. We got our palette. We got our in the ashes. We got our palette knife. We are just going to mix this with a little bit of white, because this looks like it's sh it's sheer black. But is it transparent black, or is it opaque black? I have no idea. But it's a very solid tube. This is 60 milliliter, not the usual 40 milliliter that most American tubes go in. The UK does 60 a lot. Don't know why. Asia does 20, usually. Don't know why. And the US does 40. I don't know why. Um... But, yeah, but again, it differs from brand to brand, and some brands are like, Michael Harding's a UK brand, they usually do like 38 or 40 or something like that. And ooh, ooh hoo, ooh hoo hoo. Let's see how much oil comes out of this. Not a lot, actually. That's not bad. Okay, we don't want to put get too much out of this, because this is <laughs> probably very rare. Ooh, that's a smell. Ooh. 
don't know what's going on with that. And we got our palette knife, and we're just going to put a little bit here. That is definitely black. And a little bit over the line. Just to I'm going to put that over there. I'm going to take a bit of a closer look. And yes, that is definitely black. And it's definitely opaque. Um, we're going to mix a little bit of white. And that's going to be our video. If I can open this white. This is a well-used white, as you can tell. But I can't actually get it open. There we go. Took a struggle. Took my t-shirt. Yeah. Just a little bit of Michael Harding titanium white number two. Titanium white number two. And don't ask me the difference between titanium white one and two, because I haven't figured it out yet. And we are going to... Yep, that's a grail. All right, going to put a little bit more. Yeah, a little bit more, I think. Let's just... It's a nice gray. It smells weird, though. I wonder what that smell is. It doesn't like smell like factory. It smells just... Oh, we have a lot of this left let's just see yeah so yeah so it's just from the ashes as anticipated made from the ashes of trees is pitch black and it's a pretty okay it's a not transparent at all so i think this is definitely not going to be used like lamp black because it's just too dang opaque um but it makes a nice gray and i have no idea really <laughs> There's a little contest to make pictures using paintings using this. And there is a gallery with paintings. Their website says there was a big gallery that they sent a bunch of art, big name artists these kits and they made things with them. And I'll try to find that information and put it in the description. But otherwise, I it's just a cool thing to have, I think. And I didn't intend to get it like right away as soon as it came out. It just happened that way because the art gods smile upon me. Um, yes, the acrylic I might just use, like, just, I have it, so I might as well use it. I'm going to use it to, um, as, uh, to tint a, pa a canvas before actually painting on it, maybe. Maybe lighten it. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this jar of ashes from the Amazon Rainforest. Do I just display this somewhere? I go, hey, I have am ashes from the Amazon Rainforest for no good reason. Um yeah and i don't know what i'm going to do with the charcoal the charcoal from the do i put the charcoal in the ashes is that a thing i should be doing i don't know but yes anyway thank you for watching this was a bit of a weird one i don't know what's going on with with this and why it won't stay out of frame but yeah um thank you for watching uh like and subscribe next week we're going to have a review on jackson's paint like normally that isn't some weird limited edition thing so yes, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you feel like it. Thank you. Goodbye.